po, welcome po sa aking YouTube channel. Ngayon po, tuturoan ko po kayo kung paano ang mag-register sa SSS. Ito po yung mga kinakailangan natin. Specimen Signature Card or SSS Form L501. R1 or Employer Registration. Number 3, R1A or Employment Report. At ito na po yung mga attachments na kinakailangan. Kailangan po nating dalhin yung original po. Yung una po is uh, photocopy ng SSID. Kung wala naman po kayong SSID is pwede naman po kahit ibang ano um, ibang S uh, ibang valid IDs po. Pangalawa is yung photocopy ng DTI permit. Pangatlo, photocopy ng mayor's business permit. Applicable lang po ito ha sa single proprietorship. Susunod po is ito po yung ito po yung itsura ng L501 or specimen signature card. Dito po, um, yung mga authorized lang na mag-transact sa SSS. Kung may kailangan ka naman sa SSS regarding sa business mo or regarding sa employer mo is kailangan talagang dalhin mo ito. Ito na. Dito natin ilagay yung registered employer name. Dito is yung employer ID number. Si SSS lang yung I want nobody but you. 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 Dito natin ilagay yung details ng business natin. Dito yung employer ID number is yung SSS lang din yung naglagay dyan. Dito is to be filled out by the employer, business or household. Yung applicable sa at, sa akin is yung business. Kaya, check natin yung business. Then, yung business name. Nagkatapos is yung tax identification or T number mo. Business address. Zip code yung foreign address mo or if if, if applicable country sa akin wala wala na akong nilagay to telephone number email address tsaka start of operation sa akin makikita mo may ano siya may erasure siya tsaka kinounter sign na lang ni SSS kasi yung actually yung start of operation ko is nung September pa last year kaso nung mag hire ako is nung February na kaya advice ni SSS is kung kailan ako nag hire ng employees dun din ako mag start ng operation so number of employees isa lang dito nature of business yung Legal personality, um, single proprietorship, partnership, 
corporation or cooperative. Um, sa atin is single proprietorship. Dito kasi sa iba, may ano kasi siya. Iba yung attachments niya na ano, magtanong na lang sa SSS kung ano yun. Kasi yung alam ko lang is yung single proprietorship lang. Pero meron naman din sa form nila dito sa likod nila kung ano yung mga requirements ng partnership, corporation, at cooperative. Susunod is yung name of owner. Ilagay din natin dito yung position with parent company, no? Dito for household employer dito. So, kung hindi naman tayo household, household so leave it blank. Printed name natin, tsaka signature. Make sure po ha na hindi po um, consistent po yung information na ilalagay natin especially po sa signatories. So yung next natin is yung R1A. It dito natin ilalagay yung mga na hired natin na employees or employee. So dito ID number, employer name. Yung slash po, um, company name slash, um, name ko po yan. Kasi sa single proprietor, may slash, kinakailangan din ilagay yung name ng owner. Type natin is business, initial, then address, telephone number, at saka mobile cell phone number. Email ad, website if any. Ilagay din natin ulit yung T number natin. Dito, ilalagay na natin yung SSS number ng na-hired natin na employee. Yung last name, first name, at saka middle name. Ito, date of birth, date of employment. Yung date of separation, um, wag na natin lagyan yan. Kasi, kasi for ano naman to. Kasi uh, magre-report pa lang naman tayo kakabukas lang natin ng ano ng SSS okay, yung monthly compensation niya, tsaka yung position or nature of work kung wala na kayong ilalagay um, dapat talagang lagyan sa next na ng nothing follows okay, we have one employee Dito is yung name of owner. Dito yung printed name, signature ko, tsaka yung title. Ito po yung mga list ng valid IDs na tinatanggap ni SSS. Ito yung mga primary ID cards, driver's license, passport, PRC card, Siemens book, social security, SS card, unified multipurpose ID, or UMED card. Yung secondary naman is yung alien certificate of registration, certificate from any of the following, which is ever, whichever is applicable, National Commission in, on Indigenous Peoples, etc. So, ayun po. Mm-hmm. Kung magpapautos naman po kayo sa pag sa pag open ng SSS is need po ng authorization letter at saka yung ID mo. ID ng nagpa-authorize. Kailangan po talaga dalhin 'yon. Yun lang po. Salamat po sa panunood. Um, wag po kalimutang mag-subscribe po sa aking channel.